kids, welcome to a fun and exciting learning adventure in the world of science. I hope that you are fine and doing good while studying at home. I am your teacher, Rowena Escarcus of Ojita La Cruz Elementary School. And I will be joining with you today as we explore the amazing world of science. Effects of Sun's Heat and Light This is Science 4, Quarter 4, Week 7 At the end of this video lesson, you would be able to Describe the effects of sun's heat and light to human activities Second, identify the useful and harmful effects of sun's heat and light to human activities and identify safety precautions on the effects of sun's heat and light. Before we start, please ready your pen, your paper, and of course your module. Please watch this video clip and be ready to answer the questions later. video clip who are the children looking for correct it's mr. Sun why are they looking for mr. Sun very good the children wanted to play is the Sun important to the children how very good it's yes the sun is important to have a fine weather. The sun is the main source of heat and light. It has beneficial or useful effects to us. However, it has also harmful effects. Now, let us discuss the beneficial effects of sun's heat and light. Are you ready? The sun is important to plants, to animals, and to humans. Plants make their own food with the presence of sunlight in the process called photosynthesis. Animals are benefited through the plants or grasses they eat. Their bones and muscles get stronger because of the vitamin D they get from the sunlight. Humans are most benefited. We can dry clothes during our laundry. Farmers harvest their crop during sunny days. We can also dry our harvested crops. Fish 
fishermen can go out fishing on a hot sunny day. After a tiring day of fishing, we can dry our catch to make our dried fish or the so-called daing. We can go out for picnics or family outing. We have also the harmful effects. What are harmful effects of sun's heat and light? First, we have skin burn or skin cancer. Sunburn occurs when skin cells are damaged due to too much heat of the sun. It starts with the redness of our skin and leads to peeling. Second, looking directly at the sun may cause blindness. Heat stroke and dehydration is also caused by too much exposure to heat and light. Too much heat of the sun can wither the plants. Long sunny days can make the soil dry, hard, and cracked, resulting to drought. Drought may affect the plant's growth and may lead to water scarcity. But don't you know, there are ways to protect oneself from the excessive heat of the sun. And what are these? Wear a cup or wide brim hat during sunny days. Wear sunglasses when playing on beaches or when under the sun. Use an umbrella when going outside. Apply sunblock lotion on your skin when you go swimming. Wear clothes that protect your skin from the sun like long sleeves and pants. Find a shady place for you to stay during hours of peak sunlight to avoid heat stroke. And most importantly, remember to always drink plenty amount of water. Again, the beneficial or useful effects of sun's heat and light. This include 1. It can help plants grow 2. Help animals and humans survive 3. It is used for drying clothes 4. It is used for drying harvested crops and lastly, it is the best time for fishing, harvesting, and picnic. However, we have also the harmful effects. This include, it causes sunburn, heat stroke, and dehydration. It also causes blindness. It causes the plants to wither and can cause drought. What are the safety precautions? Always remember to use protective wear when staying under the sun such as hat, umbrella, sunglasses, long sleeve, and pants. Also, apply sunblock lotion. Do not look directly at the sun. Look and stay under shady places. Drink plenty of water. This time, let us think of this. Why do we need to practice all these precautions? 
we need to practice all these precautions so that we must be safe and to avoid the different harmful effects of sun's heat and light. Did you understand class? Okay, it's activity time. Let's do this. Identify if the following are useful or harmful effects of sun's heat and light. Number one, drying of palay. Sayan, terrific kids. Yes, it's useful. Number two, blindness. You are so amazing. Correct, it's harmful. Number three, sunburn. Scientastic. The answer is harmful. How about number four? Going out for a picnic. It's amazing. It is useful. And number five, drying of clothes. The answer is useful. Your science credible. Let's have another activity. Let's try this. Identify if the statement is a safety precaution on the effect of sun's heat and light or not. Write yes if it is and no if it is not. Let's start. Number one, apply sunscreen or sunblock lotion when we go swimming. It's a yes! Number two, stay on shady areas. Again, the answer is yes. Number three, we must look directly at the sun. Uh-oh, the answer is no. How about number four? Drink only one glass of water a day. Again, the answer is no. Number five, carry along an umbrella or a hat while under the sun. It's a yes! Perfect! Congratulations! You are scientific, so amazing, and so terrific. Once again, this is your teacher, Rowena S. Corpus, saying, Always have fun in learning, and it will keep you growing. Goodbye! Till next time!